Hello, Beyond Hunger chefs. I mean, howdy, Beyond Hunger partners. Today, we're going to be making a cornbread and beef casserole. I have been stoked about this one all week. So over here, we've got 14 ounces about, or two cups of chopped tomatoes. You know a tomato's good when it smells like a tomato. Remember that advice. It calls for a whole onion. Sorry, I didn't have a whole onion. I had a half of an onion, so we're gonna make it work. And then I got a yeehaw, Texas-sized bell pepper. Uh, and we're gonna dice these up. Now we're gonna brown the beef. It's a very quiet process. You can barely even hear it cooking. So once your meat is pretty much all brown, what we're gonna do is drain off the fat. Going into dad mode here. Always drain the fat off. Do not pour it down the drain. Pour it into something. I'm actually gonna use the giant crushed tomatoes can that I'm gonna use for tomato sauce today. If you pour your fat down the drain, it'll create a giant fat wall that will block up your pipes and be really expensive. So remember kids, monsters are real. They will clog up your pipes and they will cost you a lot of money in plumbing bills. And then I'm gonna set the meat aside onto this plate for a little bit later. Don't worry, mate. We're not leaving you behind. Now we are going to cook the onion and pepper until the onion's nice and translucent. I didn't even put oil on these because I want them to cook in the beef fat. Yeehaw! Now we're adding in the chopped garlic and we're only gonna cook that for another minute. Now we're adding the meat back into the pan. Half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a dash of cinnamon, a very generous half teaspoon of chili powder, the magic ingredient, a can of chipotle sauce. Remember, unless you want to blast your face into Spice Town, just get the chipotle sauce. Don't get the chipotles in adobo. Get the chipotle sauce. 14 ounces of diced tomatoes. I have two cups of fresh ones. Almost forgot the tomato sauce. And stir it all up. And we're gonna drop the heat down to low and we're gonna let this, I almost said chill, but we're gonna let this cook on low for about 10 minutes. While that cooks, we are going to make the cornbread for the top. So we're gonna start with Jiffy. I don't know why it has air quotes. Corn muffin mix. We're gonna do two boxes, two eggs, two thirds cups of milk. So two one third cups. Bruh. Bruh. And then mix it all up. We've got this amazing filling now and we're gonna add it to a 12 and a half by nine baking dish. And if it doesn't fit, I have an emergency baking dish to go along with it. Okay, so I took out a couple cups of this because I'm worried it's not all gonna fit. Let's try. Okay, looks good, fits. If this video has no more after this, you know that I burned the house to the ground and somebody found my camera in the rubble. So here's hoping I don't have a cornbread induced fire. We're gonna bake this bad boy for 20 minutes at 400. So it isn't a disaster, but the pan was too shallow. It grew a little in there. Oh, that smells so good. And it is completely raw inside. Golden, beautiful on top. Raw as raw can be on the inside. So I put it back in for like 10 minutes. Now it's really golden brown. So it's pretty much cooked. Yeah. I gotta say, it looks great. It tastes really good. So it's mostly cooked. It tastes great. It looks beautiful on top. This one just needed longer. Yeehaw. It's all right. It needs longer in the oven. 